Hello again. Well, I haven't well haven't made a video for a couple of weeks now because well, number one, I am pretty new to YouTube, so uh, I'm not kind of familiar with the whole making videos habit. So this is probably a, that's probably the main reason why I haven't made a video for so long. And also from my last video, if you watched it you know that I'm doing an English course so I have to read a lot of other stuff that isn't um, well that is academic so I don't really get a lot of time to do other things and also as well with the uni like I'm just so busy socially all the time and you know I've got to make my, most of my time here and I'm sure a lot of you know how long it takes to film a video <laughs> and to edit it as well but anyway here I am at least I'm doing another one at least I'm not going to give up until I've done a few videos because obviously I love reading and it's a big part of my life no matter if it's academic or if it's just for pleasure but yeah so if you watch my other video you know that the next book that I was reading is Will Grayson Will Grayson and I finished this I think it's two weeks ago now my life's been kind of really crazy since I finished it I actually made a list of things to talk about can you see list of things to talk about on um, this video because I was going to do one pretty soon after I finished it but I never got around to it because my boyfriend came up and oh yeah that was before I finished it actually so my boyfriend came up I mean, the weekend after I was with my friend quite a lot and we went uh, we went out and did some stuff um, in the week and then this weekend just gone my mum came up so I haven't had a lot of time to do this so anyway back to the book because that's why I'm filming this and I should probably shut shut up about rambling about my life so anyway okay so my overall thoughts on this book are not great I have to say I'm really sorry for you guys out there that might be really adamantly kind of in love with this book and in love with John Green. I really didn't feel like this was the best story in the whole world. It's to be to be honest, it's quite ridiculous. Come on. This starts with, you know, two guys that lead completely different lives and obviously you're told from the blurb that something happens to make them meet up and it's kind of all meant to be this kind of magical moment where fate brings these two people together but I feel like it's not fate it's a very kind of well thought out and very fictionalized plot that has brought these two together it doesn't seem like it was a natural thing to happen it was kind of very forced to begin with um, and it's just quite ridiculous and just unrealistic. So to not to not spoil anything, the the main twist in this book is just like obviously that would that can and probably does happen. I'm not saying that that was ridiculous, but what happens after that this boy goes from loving a fictionalised person on the internet one minute and then the next minute he goes to falling in love with another guy and it just it just doesn't happen especially if you're so hurt over one person already it just doesn't seem to me that that's what would happen and obviously things don't quite work out the way that they're meant to go but still like I just don't feel that that would really happen. You don't go from one minute from being really in love with one person to the next minute being really in love with another. It just sometimes hurt when you're hurt from someone and you're hurt from somebody who you fall out of love with or when somebody's not who you think they are. Like It takes a while to get over that so that you can go and meet other people and fall in love with them. So I felt like it was a bit ridiculous that in this book this guy could go from one to another so quickly it just didn't seem realistic at all <laughs> yeah some of it was extremely extremely cringy like I can't 
With me, it's difficult because there's some levels of cringe that I can deal with. But I think the unrealistic style and the unrealistic kind of plot line made me really cringe because it's so it's, some of it was so soppy and it was so unrealistically soppy and so fake and pretentious that it made me feel really uncomfortable I felt like this shouldn't be happening this is not the book kind of book that I was expecting to read and I didn't want to be reading a book that I didn't feel was going to be realistic and then but this is what it ended up being was completely and utterly ridiculous and unrealistic nothing like John Green before this is my main problem with it that John Green in the past is so realistic and it's so honest to true life situations but this this really isn't and I don't know if it's to do with David Lefferton having some kind of input in the plotline, but it really, really just was not up there with other things that he's written. Um, yeah, uh, despite overall, me overall thinking that this is not a great book, and I actually gave it two out of five stars on Goodreads, the Goodreads system really confuses me because it's like, two stars for saying something's okay and I think that two stars is probably saying that you don't really like a book. If I was to really be, if I was to go along with a good read system of writing and uh, as in the stars then two, it would not have been two out of five stars, it would have been one out of five stars but I thought it was a bit harsh because there was, there was a good, there was a great moment in here for me and I think that was the message, or well, not the message, but all the kind of stuff about how we fall in love and how you've got to kind of be prepared to be hurt when you fall in love. And it was kind of, that was the only really clever thing that I like about it, especially at the end. Like it kind of really connected to me and kind of really spoke to me when it's when it's talking about falling in love and how sometimes you hit the ground but you've got to get back up and you've got to not be scared of falling again and hopefully when you fall and you you know you really fall for the right person you don't hit the ground but it, you know you end up floating it's, it's kind of a strange analogy but it really works in this book and I don't want to go into too much detail and by going into, not going into too much detail, it sounds a bit weird what I'm saying right now, but I don't want to start putting spoilers into my reviews because it really annoys me when people do that on reviews on YouTube because unless it's demanded, I don't think having spoilers in reviews because usually people watch reviews because they want to know about a book that they haven't read before. So if you put a spoiler on it, then you're only inviting people who've read the book into your videos, which is a bit silly. I want everyone to watch this video, whether you read it or not. And if it's requested, if you want me to do a spoiler full review, then I'll do it. But otherwise, I'm not going to stop putting spoilers in. Overall, I wouldn't recommend it, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I recommend it in the sense of you should read it to know what I mean or to disagree with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. But it's not something that I think I would go up to my friends and be like, yeah, you should read this book. It would be it would more be that if they've read it, I would just talk to them about how much I don't like it and why I didn't like it. Um yeah. I mean, if you if you like unrealistic plots and you like like really soppy love stories, then go for it. But it's totally, totally not my thing. Um, but I try to be open with it. I try to see the good in it. Um, I just really didn't for ninety percent of the time. The ten percent there was goodness, but I'm sure in every trashy novel you can find ten percent of goodness, apart from Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey. You cannot find any goodness in those uh yeah so that's Will Grayson and I don't really have a lot to say on it because 
I don't I, I only feel passionately kind of bad about it but I don't want to keep kind of going over the bad points because when I talk about books I want to talk about what I liked and because I didn't like much I don't really have a lot to say so I'm going to move on I'm going to move on to say that I am now reading If I Stay by Gail Foreman and you can see that I'm 100 pages into it maybe not quite 88 pages into it. This is a really short book and I probably should have finished it by now because I started reading it like what last week but once again uni is crazy and I didn't have any time this weekend to finish it so I'm planning on doing some reading tonight, planning on getting to at least 100 pages because that's about halfway through because it's only about 200 pages and I will say at the moment I'm really enjoying it. I think the writing is fantastic I think the storyline is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought the beginning was just so incredibly powerful. If you've read it, you'll know what I mean. Oh my gosh. I just, I had to put the book down just to gather myself from how shocked, the shocking the beginning was and how shocked I felt. But yeah, I cannot wait to finish this. This is, I know this is going to be bloody emotional and... I I am a sucker for books. I will just cry and cry and blubber and cry, and then people come in to my room and be like, "Why are you crying?" I'll be like, "It's just a book." But that's just me. I can't cry at films though, which is quite interesting. But yes, this book I'm sure is going to be emotional. I'm just at a very uh, interesting part right now that I can't wait to read, and I'm really excited to review this. So uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but. After I've read If I Stay, I plan on moving on to, I think it's Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, but I'm not sure. I currently have a list of books that I picked out from a hat randomly because I can never decide what book to read next because I have like a million and one books um, that I need to read. So Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children is next on that list. So I most likely will be reading that and I'm so excited to read that because it just looks awesome. But anyway, I'm going to end my review here. I hope you enjoyed, guys, and please, please just comment about any kind of thoughts you have. I'll link my Goodreads in the um, description, so go on my Goodreads. I tend to not write reviews anymore because I don't have time. I don't have time, and now I'm doing these video reviews, so yeah. Anyway, send me your thoughts on Will Grayson and If I Stay, but no spoilers. Bye!